This is what school looks like for 12-year-old Ellie and 16-year-old Charlie. Mum's at work, Nan and Grandad live next door, and they get on with schoolwork themselves. I've got my job, but also I know these girls need to learn as well, and you're torn between my role to teach other kids and also my role as a mum to... <laughs> it's a balancing act for Mum, and a tough time for the girls too. Charlie's nervous about her GCSEs, and Ellie sometimes struggles to concentrate at home. I find it a lot easier to process things in school than home, because when I'm home, like I feel like it's like my relaxing time. I'm missing just like normal life, like getting up in the morning, going to school, having my lessons, chilling with my mates, and just doing something after school, because like that's just the normal to me. But now everything's like online. As a teacher herself, Trudy's all too aware of the challenges many parents face when it comes to homeschooling. If you've got a parent that's working 12 hour shifts and coming in at 8 o'clock in the morning, if you've got a parent that's got toddlers around that they need to log on and their online chats and teams, it's, it's really hard. Abby's an educational psychologist juggling work with looking after two little ones. Her top tip for parents in the same boat? Lower your expectations. As parents and carers, we really want to do our best for our child, um, but we have to acknowledge the current situation we are in. It's remembering that you can't do it all. You simply can't. It's, it's impossible to replicate what goes on in school. Instead, Abby's been focusing on emotional and mental well-being. She says creating a sense of hope is important for building resilience in young minds. It's trying to think really about offering that sense of belonging to someone at home, that togetherness. Me and my little girl have been writing little notes to each other and leaving them in little places throughout the day so she's got things to look forward to because that sense of hope is really what's going to be protective for helping us get through things. That togetherness is what Charlie and Ellie appreciate most. Trudy might feel stretched thin, but a message to parents like her, even kids understand that we're all just doing our best. We've managed to balance a house being redone, a job, being a single mum. What else have you managed to do? <laughs> <laughs> as well? <laughs> a, lot, a lot of other things. Teaching. Just mm. taking care of our needs, really. Yeah. Yeah. Like, she's managed Plus, to be the good mum she should be. And I'm very grateful for. Oh, don't really cry. Oh, don't cry. <laughs> plus, and like, plus taking care of like Nan and Grandad as well. Just all of that with a full-time job, single mum, and it's like I wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs>